Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on explaining BMW engine codes. So, one reason why I wanted to discuss this topic with you all today is because, you know, due to COVID, we all been locked down. I've been doing a lot of research on the internet, and I happen to, I just always wondered, I said, you know, M55, S55, you know, all the, the engines out there, what do all those letters mean? What does all that stuff mean? So I started doing some research, found a lot of interesting information on the beamerworld.com, um, and I just want to share that information with you all today. Um, if you definitely want to read anything up on everything that I'm, I'll be talking about today, I'll definitely put the link down in the description below so you can um, go and do your own research and also just read along. Some people like to read versus hearing, so I'll put that down there in case you're one of those people. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everyone. So as you can see right here on my screen, I have the Beamer World website pulled up talking about the BMW chassis and engine codes. Today's video is going to be focused strictly on the engine codes. If y'all do want me to do a video on the chassis codes, um, just please comment down below, like this video, and let me know if you want me to do a video on that. Um, so today, like I said, it's going to be engine codes. So the engine codes, like I said, they break down everything. Every letter, every number stands and means something um, to the for the BMWs. So what I want to go through today is just a couple of the popular engines that are known today and some of the popular BMW engines and kind of break down what each of those letters and numbers mean. So what I'm going to go with first, I'm going to start with just some examples so y'all can kind of see how this all works. So right here, they, right here, we'll click on the BMW N engine code key. And if you look right here, um, this is the model used is the F87 M2. So it breaks down N55B. So we typically call that for short, the M2 engine. So N55B 30TO. So it breaks down exactly what each of those letters and numbers mean so the end indicates the engine family and as you can kind of see here um, any engine that was created between 2006 and 2016 was given was given that end for the first so that's why the 2016 and on those are engines that was created around that was given like the B like the B58 B48 etc so the next letter is gonna be it says cylinder count so the lumber, even though it isn't a, it isn't a five cylinder, it's a six cylinder. But if you look down here on the chart, if it's a four cylinder, it's a one or four cylinder it could be a two or a four. And then um, a six cylinder is a five. So that's what that five indicates. If it's a V8, it's going to be a six. If it's a V12, it's a seven and V10 is going to be eight. All right. The next number here is going to be the technical highlight. So as you can kind of see here throughout the different options you have here, kind of lets you know. Um, in, this, in this case, the five means turbocharged Valtronic with direct injection six cylinder. So that's why we have the five. So now we know what the N55 means. N stands for standard new gen engine that was created 2006 to 2016. The five stands for inline six. And the other five stands for turbocharged Valtronic with direct injection six cylinder. So that's what the N55 stands for. Pretty interesting information. Now we go on to B. Now, this B actually stands for, this says um, benzene or gasoline. So I know a lot of people refer to the, the M2 as the N55B and not the rest of the N55s. But actually, in actuality, um, and this is what kind of drove me to do this topic is I heard a lot of people refer to the M2 as the N55B or I got an N55B. And I actually went and looked up the, the engine um, code for my 435 when I had it, and it said N55B too. So I was just like, well, what's the what's the real big difference between the two engines? I knew that one had the um, forged internals, but people would just say, oh, that's the N55B. And I was like, well, my car is an N55B as well. And they, they just looked at me like I was crazy. So actually, in technology, I was right. My engine was the N55B because I, I had a gasoline engine. As we continue on this engine um code here you'll start to see where the difference is between the m2 lettering and what was in like typical to um typical you know 335s and 435s all right so the next two numbers here is going to talk about the displacement of the engine so three liter is going to be 30 so m55 b 30 all right um and then if it was a 4.4 liter it'd be 44 2.5 liter 25 so pretty simple pretty understandable there 
the next letter is the biggest difference between the M2 engine and also like the, the 335 and 435 engine. So it's going to be this power level. So they have a power level. Um, the different letters and then this number zero here is going to be the indication of the power level of that um, engine. So the M2 is given the T, which means top. So if you look at, and I'll pull up the, uh, M, the M55 that is in the 435, it has a M, which means medium. So that is the two differences between the engine codes, um, between the uh, M2 and the 435, 335. The M2 has this T power level, which means it's the top, and the 435 and 335 has the M, which means it's medium. So that's the difference. Not the M55B, but it's the M55B30T or the M55B30M. So that's just a little, a little nugget right there for you all. And then the last um, number here is going to be, it's either 0 or 1 through 9. So 0 means original engine design. 1 through 9 is going to indicate the amount of updates or minor design changes that were made to the engine. So, so if you have a zero, that means that was the original engine design that they came up with. If you have a one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, that is gonna let you know how many revisions was made to that engine um, during the years of production. So that's pretty, pretty interesting information here. So we'll go through it one more time. In, so the M2 has a new gen engine with an inline six that is turbocharged Valtronic with direct injection. It uses gas, it has a three liter. It is the top level of the M55 engines and this is the original engine, which is a zero. So pretty interesting stuff. I would love to see what an M55 B30S super level would be. I did look, I didn't see any engines with that um, super level on the M55 chain. I would be interested to see what that would be and how much power that would be capable of. So this is pretty interesting stuff here. All right, so what you see on your screen here is the BMW 335 and 435. I know I kind of already talked about this, just but I just kind of want to go over it again just so you can kind of get a visual here. Um, and I have the key to the left, and I have the actual 335 and 435 engine code and information on the right. So the 335 and 435 for the F30 and F32 have the M55B30MO. And as you see to the left, this is the M2. So this is like I was saying before. The only difference is the last, the actual second to the last letter, the T and the M. So in the M2, it is T, which stands for top power level. And in the regular 335 and 435, it is an M, which stands for middle power, medium power or middle power level. So that's really the only real big difference between the 335 and 435 engine code and the uh, M2. Now, of course, there's other internal differences, but right now, right now, we're strictly talking about engine code differences. So let's go on to the next one. Um, I also want to cover the 340 and the 440i. Um, and as you see to the left here, the BMW B engine code key, it's a little bit different um, than the N. Uh, the B stands for standard modular engines. Any engines that were developed from 2016 and on, they get the B indication there. Um, the other um, information after that is pretty similar to the uh, N engine codes, but we'll go through what's on the 340 and the 440. So the engine code for the 340 and the 440 is a B58. B 30 M O. So modular engine in line six TVDI gas, three liter medium power, original design. So that's kind of what's going on in the 340 and 440i. So now some of you are probably thinking, well, what's in the Supra? All right. Got that covered. So the Supra is going to be a B 58 B 30 M one. So this lets you know that the, uh, super has an update to the original engine that was in the 340 and the 440i, which we all know, but this engine code just kind of indicates that as well. We're having that one instead of the zero that was on the 340 and the 440. All right, going to the next um, chassis here, we're gonna cover uh, the F82, F80, um, any of the F80X um, M3, M4, or M4 GTS, we're gonna cover here. Um, as you see on the left-hand side, we have the BMW S engine code key. So the S stands for BMW M road car engine. And they'll explain a little bit more on how that, what about, why that is such a significant thing as we get to the third number in the engine code. So the second letter in the engine code is, of course, cylinder count. So um, these are inline sixes, so it's still five. So 
we'll look at the engine code here. So it's S55B30O0. All right. So the S stands for road BMW M road car engine. Five is in line six. We have the other five, which says engine variant. And if you look over here at the key, it says copy from the standard road car engine the M model is based on. So since this is a five, this is copied from the M55 because the M3 and the M4 are based on the 335 and the 435, which are which has the engine code of M55. So that is copied strictly over from the, the car, the road car that is based on. All right, B stands for gas. So we got gas there. 30 stands for three liter. Um, and then we have O. So remember, we look over here, the power level of O, which means upper. So this is upper power limit, upper power level for this uh, engine code. And then it has a uh, O zero for original design. So this is the original design engine. Um, and then I have it down here in asterisk. I have an asterisk on upper power and original design because on the GTS, the GTS engine code, as you see down here, is S55B30T1. So T stands for top power level, and 1 stands for it's the first revision for this engine code, which kind of makes sense because the GTS is more powerful and it's a little bit different from the regular M3, M4, S55s. So that kind of everything's just kind of coming together and making sense there. All right, so I wanted to cover some classic engines here. Um, one I did want to cover was the E90 and E92 M3. So um, that is also an S engine code um, as well. So the E90 M2, I mean the E90 M3, excuse me, um, is going to be the S65 B40. So the S again stands for BMW road car. Now the six stands for a V8. So you do have that uh, six indication, which means the V8. Um, then it has a five. So that the M3 was based on the three series N55. So that's where that five is coming from right there. Um, then we have gas. So B stands for gas. 40 stands for four liter. 40 stands for four. 0.0 liter engine um there are no other um letters or numbers after that because there were no other engine variants to this engine um that i can find and that's also what's stated on the uh, website as well so that's why it just kind of stops there whereas you see some of the other engines continue on to explain because there's a lot of different variants made all right so then we have last but not least the e46 m3 legendary car um the, for those who don't know, this is one of the first cars that really made me start really looking at BMWs. When I saw the E46 M3, especially in Laguna Seca Blue, I fell in love with it, and it was just great. So let's go down. Let's go down and explain this uh, code here. So that car has an S54 B32. So as we saw before, S means it's a BMW road M road car. Five indicates that it's an inline six. The four um, that was based on a three series M54. So that is a uh, great there um gas b stands for gas and 32 stands for 3.2 liter and just like the uh, previous car no other engine variants were created so it just stops at there so the s54 b32 uh, was the engine that was in the e46 m3 and that's kind of what it means there all right everyone so i hope you informed this informative video i know there wasn't a whole lot going on you're looking at slides it's almost like a slideshow but i appreciate you sticking around and getting this information i thought it was pretty cool and i just want to share the information to everyone that's listening and watching so as always please like subscribe comment down below let me know what you think of this type of video and these informative type of videos um and i'll holler at y'all later man. peace